There are good numbers of clouds around as we go through our Saturday morning as you head out to your morning time plans. The sunglasses won't necessarily be your friend. You won't necessarily have to have them, unless you want to use them as a fashion accessory, of course. But there will be some clouds and eventually a chance for showers and storms to fall from the clouds as we go through the afternoon. As we see our temperatures, though, despite the cloud cover, it will be mild. It will be warm. In fact, in lots of places, especially out in the eastern plains, in places like Rocky Ford, 86 the high today in La Junta, 87 in Lamar, 83 at Springfield, 82 in Trinidad and also Pueblo, mid-70s in the springs and in Walsenburg, 76 and 75, 78 in Canyon City, 50s and 60s up in the high country, 67 at Salida. Speaking of Rocky Ford, we'll top out at 85 degrees there today, so the melons are certainly going to like that kind of weather as they try to become nice and juicy for us later on in the season. 87 in Los Animas and also at Sheridan Lake. 82 is your high today in Kim, and temperatures as you head into the Pueblo region will also be sitting in the 70s and 80s, 74 at Wetmore, 72 in Beulah, 75 in Colorado City, 79 at the Zoo, Pueblo West, 84 in Boone, 81 at Penrose, 69 for Texas Creek. Up to the Pikes Peak region we go, 61 your high today in Woodland Park, 58 in Devise, 60 in Cripple Creek, 73 at the shops at Briargate, 70 in Falcon, 71 in Peyton, 77 in Ellicott, and pushing 80 down in Fountain in Hanover. Zooming out now to give you an idea of what's going to happen with that skycast as we go through the rest of the afternoon into the evening. First, the sky scan shows us all the clouds that we're seeing right now. But again, notice that there are no showers nowhere as we look at the radar side of our satellite radar loop. The showers are coming later on today, though, and the skycast indicates them. This is the view at noon, not really too much to look at. But as we go through 5.30 this evening, we'll begin to pick up a chance for showers, especially to the west of the interstate, and there will be an isolated shower or storm that'll pop up towards the Kansas line as well. This is where the heaviest activity is going to be as you head over towards Kansas today because temperatures there will be much warmer than they will be, especially over towards I-25 and up into the mountains. Speaking of the mountains, how about some snow for you? That's a possibility above 12 and 13,000 feet as we go through this afternoon. As we go through this evening, the showers spill their way across the interstate. The ones in the plains become fairly heavy before beginning to fade away and pushing eastward into Kansas. Then we'll see as we go through our Sunday morning, much calmer weather. A little bit of snow possible along I-70 over towards the Eisenhower Tunnel and back towards some of the ski resorts where, of course, they love any extra snow any time of the year. But as we go and we see that there's some snow north of I-70, west of I-25, and it, for the most part, stays confined to that area as we go through our Sunday afternoon into our Sunday evening. So 9 o'clock doesn't feature too much to really talk about. Very few clouds, much less any showers or storms. Seven-day forecast calls for another storm system to come into the region, though by Monday that does give us a chance for some rain with a couple of claps of thunder attached to it. Temperatures go from 76 to 69 to 67 and then drop even further into the lower to middle 60s with another more active storm system coming into the region as we end off the seven-day outlook. In Pueblo, we're sitting in the lower 80s today, then it's mid-70s tomorrow, lower 70s on Monday, upper 60s to right around 70 as we end off the forecast. And yeah, you're going to get that next storm too, as well as that third one coming later in the week. 78, 73, and 72 in Canyon City for the first three days, and then it's lower to middle 60s throughout the rest of the forecast. We'll push 70 as we end things off next Friday. And in Teller County, we're in the lower 60s today. Then it's mid to upper 50s on Sunday and Monday. Lower to middle 50s. Take us through the forecast. There will be a chance for some snow to mix in. Yeah, we're talking about snow still in Teller County, but for the most part, this is above the Woodland Park level. Perhaps divide. Might get a little bit of snow as you're a few hundred feet higher than our friends in the city above the clouds. We are going to see Possibly some snow even in Woodland Park, though, especially if it falls in the morning because temperatures there will drop into the upper 20s as we end off the forecast. Overall, though, much different than it was last Saturday. Yeah, like we're opposite. Not, <laughs> we're not <laughs> breaking out the snow parkas, right. the boots, no and all snow that stuff. Pants today. Because instead of talking about two feet of snow, we're talking about a little bit of rain. Right, and a little bit of sunshine and that's warm right. temperatures. I think that's what people are really going to feel this weekend. That's right. Very mild, especially compared to where it was only a few days ago. Absolutely. All right, Jay, thanks so much for the forecast.